Sheikh, I am calling you uh, so that you can make a prayer on my behalf. For past one year, uh, my husband has been verbally abusing me and threatening to divorce me. And now he, is, uh, he lives in abroad and uh, he has come to Bangladesh now. And he has, no, he has not changed, Sheikh. He is still the very same man. He wouldn't accept his fault. He is just completely blaming me and my family. Yeah, Mo, I still when you say he's abusing you, you mean physically? Does he beat you? Does he hit you? No, he verbally threatens to harm me physically, my family, and is continuously uh, threatening to divorce me. Okay, and you feel a lot of pain. Am I correct? The pain, yes, of course. I mean, so how, much pain because how, how many on kids one do you hand, have? I love him very much. How many kids do you have? Have any kids? We you do not have any kids. He don't... went to. Uh, he went to abroad just after the marriage and for the past one year I am living at my father's home. But Mo, why do you love him while he's abusive? Because he is husband, my husband and... Okay, got your question. At Mo. one point of time, I... I got your question. You can listen to the answer, inshallah. Uh, when it comes to... Uh, problems between the husband and wife and when it is confirmed the husband is abusive whether verbally morally or even physically I don't accept that and Islam doesn't accept that and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi doesn't accept that but wait a minute remember what I just mentioned earlier when this is confirmed when this is actually true because we don't rely on one side story okay when the narrative is authentic and that will take place only whenever I'm doing marriage counseling. When the husband and wife are both sitting, in some cases like in the UK, the wife was complaining the husband is abusive and, and. So I asked the husband, he said, she's absolutely right and I'm all at fault and I regret and um, I'm hoping to improve. So some people will admit, some people will deny. But, you know, through experience, I can find out whether he is telling the truth or she's telling the truth or not but whenever it is confirmed that the husband is abusive and he's used to that I advise the woman don't live with him not even for one day even if you have kids Allah will provide for you why do you have to take the pain why do you have to suffer why do you have to let somebody lay his hand on you or hit you with a, a piece of wood or metal or curse you or insult you or abuse you mentally why? For what? When you say, I love somebody because he's my husband, says who that just being a spouse incurs love. Love is developed as a result of kind treatment, of being super nice, of exchanging love, not because somebody is abusive. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide all of us toward his best. So I would not hesitate to say to any woman whose husband is actually abusive after counseling and after it is clear that he's abusive why do you live with him ask for a divorce or give him khola if he is abusive but if it is only in your brain that's something else and that will be determined after you both go for counseling may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for all of us to take care of each other to love respect and revere each other. The Almighty Allah says in the Quran, Before I demand any right from my wife, I gotta ask myself, did I give her her rights? Am I being dutiful to her? Before I ask her to treat my mother well, I should ask myself, am I treating my mother-in-law well and my uh, brothers and sisters-in-law well or not? Because if I'm not treating them well, why should I ask her to treat my siblings and my parents well it doesn't make any sense okay before i ask her to wear makeup perfume put on nice clothes for me look at yourself do you dress up nicely for her or you come from work stinking 
smelling, sweating, and you want to kiss her. وَلَهُنَّ مِثْلُ الَّذِي عَلَيْهِنَّ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ The Prophet ﷺ said in the hadith, خَيْرُكُمْ خَيْرُكُمْ لِأَهْلِهِ وَأَنَا خَيْرُكُمْ لِأَهْلِهِ The best of all of you, he's addressing Muslims. The best of all of you before Allah is the one who's good to his family, to his wife, to his children. Then he sallallahu alayhi wa said, and indeed I'm the best of all of you to my family, to my wives and to my children. May the greatest peace and salutations be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Many sisters when they call or when we sit for counseling for 30 years, they have been suffering. The guy is beating her. The guy is abusive, very abusive. And I asked her, why did he have to take all of that? She said, because I have kids and I don't know who's going to feed them. Allah will feed them. Don't take this abuse anymore. Be a free woman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to what is best. 